hey guys thank you for coming to my channel healing to express we're gonna go ahead and get our new moon in aquarius reading for our air signs gemini libra and aquarius we're gonna start off with our moonology cards we're gonna pull one all right holy spirit holy angels come into my space give me clear and true messages for our air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what's coming towards them for this new moon in Aquarius? All right. Oh, okay. We got meditate and contemplate. All right. We're going to see what the current energy is. Current energy spirit for our air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Wow, the temple path. All right. Let's see. Put these over here. Put these over here. So I can have some space. All right. And I want to pull one more. I'm gonna pull one from our messages. Uh oh, from our animal spirit. What was that? Okay. Let's see what messages they have for you guys. What's the message, spirit? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, we got shark. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. All right. So you need to listen to your intuition. All right. We're going to pull from the kipper. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Archangel, Angel Michael. Coming to your face. Give me clear and true messages for our ears. Um, yeah, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We got official person. All right, we got main mail. What else there? We got Journey, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, New Moon, we got Distance and Horizon, the bottom of the deck, we got Mature Man, we got a lot of brothers on the board, I know that, <laughs> alright, let's go ahead and get started, uh, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why is official this official person here? What's going on for our air signs? Official person. What's going on? Alright. We got tower at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I'm getting is the nine of cups. So someone this official person wants to come in. And bring a romantic gesture. Okay. We also have the high priestess. We have the three of cups. And we have the emperor. So someone wants to come in. Okay. Bring this proposal. This romantic proposal. Possibly an engagement. To this high priestess. They want to celebrate. Okay. Okay. Three of Cups. And this Emperor is standing in his power. Okay. The Emperor is someone that's probably uh, most likely a father figure. Okay. Someone that's in control. That's a little controlling as well. <laughs> someone that's established as well too. Okay. And then we have the Tower at the bottom of the deck. 
So maybe a foundation and the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands, okay? So maybe someone was um, in a relationship and they had a tower moment, okay? We got the Six of Swords. They wanted to pretty much move away from the situation. They got in a Uber boat, okay? They're moving forward. They laid down these burdens and they became single, okay? So, what is the outcome for this official person, Spirit? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? The Eight of Swords. So, so this official person is pretty much stuck in their head about a situation, okay? Having sleepless nights, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, okay? Yeah. Wow. All right, why is this main male here? What's going on with this main male? Or someone could have two men in their lives, two divine masculines, okay? Or three, take it how it resonates. Okay, we got the four of pentacles, okay? So somebody's trying to get balance. This main male is trying to get balance in their life. Okay, maybe operating in devil energy as well. Okay, yeah, or maybe focusing on material things, having negative thinking. What else, spirit? Wow, but they're ready to bring in clarity. Okay, ready to have a new beginning and opportunities. We got the Ace of Swords. Okay, what else, spirit? For this main male for our air sign. Three of Pentacles, yeah. So someone wants to come in and work with you, okay? They're ready to do some teamwork. They're focused, okay? As well as some growth done took place. What else there? What else is going on for our air sign? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The King of Pentacles. So this is someone that's very stable, okay? Grounded, abundant as well. What else there? And then we got the King of Wands. Okay. So, like I said, maybe someone is dealing with two masculines in their lives, okay? We have official person and then we have a main male. This official person wants to bring in a romantic proposal, but they're stuck in their head about it and celebrate with you, okay? And then we have this main male that's trying to find balance and clarity, ready to work with you, ready to ground, have an abundance with you, okay? Okay? And they're very passionate about you as well. Okay. What's the outcome, spirit? What's the outcome for this main male? We got the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. So they're sticking to their goals, trying to manifest, okay? Trying to be loyal to a situation. But ready to take this leap of faith as well. Because we have Journey, which is the next card that we're going to clarify. And maybe this person, okay, is in a distance from you. Yeah. They're ready for some healing. They're trying to have hope in the situation. Okay? Take it how it resonates. What else is going on with this Journey? Okay, we got the Five of Pentacles. Maybe they felt left out in the cold. Maybe um, someone dealt with um, rejection. Okay, maybe some sickness as well. Lack of faith, a financial hardship. So now they're going on this journey. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups and it flew way across the room. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so I had to get the Five of Cups. It flew way across the room. But yeah, we got the Five of Cups that jumped way on out, okay? So this person that's going on this journey, they need some healing. They felt left out in the cold. They're feeling sad, okay? Maybe about a loss. 
Okay, grieving over something, feeling lonely. What else is going on, Spirit, for our air signs? Page of Cups, yeah. They want to offer an emotional investment, okay? Yeah. The Page of Cups also deals with good news, okay? So maybe someone wants to bring in some good news to you. What's the outcome, Spirit? Yeah, they're doing some soul searching. Yeah, they want to offer this somebody a cup of love. They're going on this journey, okay? So we got the Hermit and the Two of Cups. They want to come together with someone, okay? Celebrate, possibly, okay? Have a loving relationship. But maybe this person is far away from you. Distance horizon, okay? Maybe they're overseas, okay? Why is distance horizon here, spirit? For our air signs. They want to have victory. We got the Six of Wands coming out. So, yeah. What else, Spirit? Yeah, we got the um, artist. So, yeah, someone wants to explore, okay? They're going with the flow in this situation. What else is going on, Spirit? Yeah, the six of wands, the six of swords. I mean, they're getting in their boat and they finna travel. So someone is coming towards you. Okay, maybe they're bringing a romantic proposal in. Yeah, maybe you didn't get justice in this situation, but now justice is here. You're going to have an even exchange now. Okay, what else is going on, Spirit? Yeah, probably to this Queen of Pentacles. Someone that's very stable and grounded. Okay. Someone that's very abundant, possibly a healer, someone that's down to earth. What else? What's the outcome? Seven of Swords, but you need to be careful, okay? Yeah. Maybe someone's being dishonest, okay? Manipulating, deceit, cheating as well, okay? Yeah, we got, but we got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So a cycle has closed out or is closing out, okay, for whoever this is resonating with. The Wheel of Fortune also deals with chance, destiny, okay, a faded event, okay, maybe it's coming back around for you. This could also deal with karma as well. A turning point, you know, life cycles. Yeah. And then we got the hair at the at the bottom of the deck. So someone is getting some um, spiritual wisdom, okay? Maybe they're listening to their intuition. Yeah. Because this is a wish fulfillment for them. Okay? The Nine of Cups. Yeah. Nine of Cups deals with wishes coming true. Okay? Fulfilled dreams, happiness, joy, prosperity. So maybe, you know, you're waiting on someone to come in. Maybe you had... Um, an option between two guys, okay, an official person and also a, a main person, okay. But then at the bottom of the day, we got a mature man, so I'm not, I'm gonna worry about that. <laughs> We're gonna leave that one alone. But yeah, that's what I'm getting from this situation. Someone wants to come in and bring a proposal. They're needing some healing, okay. They need to meditate and contemplate more, okay. Why is that here, Spirit? Yeah, we got the star card again, the magician and the hermit. So, yeah, somebody's praying about it. They're doing some soul searching. They're trying to manifest exactly what they want, which is the perfect time to do that with this new moon in Aquarius, okay? And they need a healing. So, if you're needing healing in your life, now's the time to do that. Yeah. They're calling in this lover, okay? You're going to have happiness with this, okay? And sudden changes is coming into your life. A big move, a big change is coming, okay? Yeah. Wow. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why is the temple path here? So maybe someone is deciding to walk on their journey now. They're coming to the temple path. Or maybe you are the temple's path, okay? Why is the temple path here? Yeah, 
We got the Eight of Wands and we got the King of Pentacles. Absolutely. So you got some stability coming in. Abundance is coming in. Someone might get a message as well. Somebody's doing some traveling, moving around, okay? But this is some quick action, okay? Receiving news, taking care of business. Yeah. What else with this Temple Path Spirit for our air signs? What else is going on? Yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles, okay? This is someone that's single, that's abundant as well, very grounded, very prosperous, okay? And we also have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have a whole couple. <laughs> and we got the Six of Swords. So, yeah, so someone is coming in towards you during this full moon, okay? They're going to bring in some balance. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Then we got the shark spirit, okay? Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. So when this person come in, you need to listen to your intuition because we did have the seven of swords that came out. So make sure this person is not manipulating you, okay? To do things that you don't want to do or however it works, okay? Maybe this is a past lover coming in, okay? Maybe they ghosted you, left you. And now they figured out they want to bring in this proposal to you, but they're stuck in their head about it. Okay? So, Spirit is saying, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. What is this person really coming for? We got the Two of Cups. So, they're coming for happiness, togetherness, positive relationship. Okay? This person is in love with you. Yeah, we got the Nine of Cups again. So someone is coming in, bringing in a proposal. But this time we got the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? So maybe they're, they're taking responsibilities, okay? Starting fresh. Maybe their conscience is kicking in as well, okay? Coming clean of a situation. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Swords is someone that doesn't take nothing, okay? If you ain't speaking your truth, she gonna cut you off and have no problem doing that. But I do see the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So in this situation, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you're going to have the victory. Okay? Let's see where you at on your journey. Full Moon and Aquarius. Full Moon and Aquarius. What's going on for our air signs? All right. We got regret. Yeah, somebody's in regret. Happiness. I know that I cannot change the past. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And then we got pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So yeah, but Spirit is saying you got to have patience with this situation. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay? Let's get some messages from your angels. You can go ahead and be thinking of your questions in your mind. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Give me clear and true messages. Full Moon and Aquarius for our air signs. Full Moon and Aquarius. What message do we have, angels? We have you're ready, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what else spirit we have if you believe and we have not the right time okay so whatever you was thinking about spirit is saying you know you're ready okay if you're ready for love you're ready for a new job you're ready to take a new path spirit is saying you're ready if you believe Okay, for some people probably feel like it's not the right time or maybe it's not the right time to be with this individual at this moment. Okay, but it's coming. Let's get one more. Okay, one more. <laughs> there's something better. Okay, so maybe there's something better out there for you. Maybe this relationship is not for you. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's why patience was there. And then look, I look at the bottom of the deck. We got the three of swords. Maybe this person is going to give you a heartache, okay? It's going to break your heart. Maybe they're a heartbreaker. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But let's get some positive affirmations to close out this reading for the full moon in Aquarius. 
for our air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What affirmations do we have, Spirit? What affirmations? All right. What affirmations do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? All right, we have desire. I live a life of desire, passion. Another one flipped. Oh, I thought they flipped over. Okay. I live a life of desire, passion, and joy. And this is brought to my attention in many ways. Okay. So now it's time to focus on your desires. All right. We got love. I am an unconditional co-creator who gives and receives love. Effort effortlessly and i do this in infinite ways so it's time to love yourself even more have unconditional love towards yourself okay what else there all right and then we have forgive i am unconditionally forgive myself and all others in my life so during this full moon in aquarius air signs you need to focus on your desires and your passions, okay? You need to love yourself unconditionally and you need to forgive unconditionally, all right? That is the, um, let me just go ahead and get some romance, love romance, okay? See what's going on in your love life. And then we'll close out this reading for you guys, the full moon in Aquarius. Also, like and subscribe. Also, share the video, guys. All right. What's going on in their love life, spirit? Full moon in Aquarius for the air signs. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What else, spirit? We also have love yourself first. We talked about that. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? What else, Spirit? Now give me some more cards. All right, we got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, those are the messages I have for you. And at the bottom of the deck, we got engagement. So maybe somebody's going to be getting engaged, which we did have the Knight of Cups that came out. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That is the message I have for you guys. Full moon in Aquarius.